Hello, I'm Timran432, and welcome back to my Mega Man Zero 4 playthrough. Let's play, walkthrough, whatever you want to call it. Um, in the last part, we saved Nige from some prison, and Dr. Wild showed up for a minute. And uh, now we're gonna take down the next two of the Iron Jar Warriors. So our first mission here, we got the Living City, which is guarded by that annoying little chicken dude. And um, the city is functioning, but the security system is just trying to destroy everything and then grow bigger. So yeah, we don't want a giant- it's basically a giant fortress of death. Thus there is no life inside the city. So let's go. Zero! This area is being operated from two locations. One is the control tower and the other is in the computer room that lies beyond it. Keep going and put a stop to that control tower. <laughs> Alright, so I have zero lives, so I'm gonna go, uh, kill myself to get some more. It's the strategy that I do, but nobody understands it. Because, I mean, it really shouldn't make sense if you use logic. But, whatever, man, it's a video game. Okay, this mission is probably the most frustrating mission throughout the entire Mega Man Zeroes series. And, um, you'll see why in a few minutes. So there's some really annoying platforming segments. So the beginning of the level, you just slash these dudes. They just all die in one slash, so... You could also use your EX abilities, like your downward slash that sends out the ice wave. That's pretty effective. So here, you might remember me uh, complaining about my controller in the forest level. Um, yeah, I'm using an Xbox 360 controller because it's a Windows PC that I'm playing on. Not that I like Xbox at all. Um, but basically when you hit the up button, um, it will only register if you're like holding all the way up. And I use the joystick for this. So grabbing onto those little handles is a pain. You just saw me skip there because you don't want to see me die actually seven times. So let's continue on. Now we're past that, finally. It's really easy on a Game Boy Advance, um, but no, not on an Xbox 360 controller. Next up, we get introduced to these really annoying blocks here. They shift, and if you're on the wrong side of them, you instantly get crushed. And yeah, they're throughout most- those two mechanics are throughout the rest of the level. Uh, some health down here to fill up my sub tank that I got. And you see that? That's, that's what makes this kind of annoying, you know? Let's just skip forward again. Alright, so here we are, back where we were. Um, yeah, it took me like at least five attempts to get back here, which is pretty sad. Um, but yeah, as always, I blame the controller. Whether it be my dying DualShock 3 or this Xbox 3 con 360 wireless. Um, PlayStation is better, but still. Anyway, more blocks, like instant crush, and uh, yeah, you don't want to get any of your hitbox in there, because if you do, you die. Um, next room, we got this tower thing, which I'll explain in a sec. Zero, there's the control tower. You can't just straight out destroy it, but you can pull the key disc out of it and disable the tower. The, the, the tower, the power, the tower. Whatever. Okay, so those little grabby grabby things, you can grab grab with your zero grab knuckle. And you grab them all out, and then, um, yeah, that's it. <laughs> you just do that. Uh, you don't even need to fight the enemies unless they're in your way. And there's no time limit, so this music's kind of really tense for no reason. I could've just left the regular music going. But whatever. If you pull out all the bottom ones first, then you will get a alternate passway, pa passageway. And, you see here, the tower falls down, and since I pulled down all these bottom ones, I get an alternate passage through this underground route. But, it's not that much different, or longer, or shorter, or different. This room here, there's like a meta, and that's it. I don't know, surprise. So, yeah, um, Metaurs haven't... I think they they were in the zero the rest of the zero games, but I mean they weren't normal enemies. You had to use a cyber off to turn them into that. But yeah, here they are. 
pretty fun enemies. And uh, while we're on the topic of fun, you know what's not fun? <laughs> this next room here. Uh, so, like I was talking about these uh, block things that slide around and kill you instantly. Here, this part. The most annoyingest part. Basically, you have to jump between them and wall climb, and uh, if you mess up just a little bit, you'll get crushed, and you have no idea how many attempts I had to do that um, to make it into this video. Next room, we got another annoying part here. I still blame the control. Just grab these. I should stop calling this an annoying part. Um, it's really not if you're playing with a regular GBA controller. You see there, that's just pure pain. Yeah, y you didn't see that. Ha, huh, you thought I was gonna die there. Uh, no. But at last, we've made it to the boss fight. For this mission, we got, uh, Hopla... Coca Petri? I think? I think that's his name. Kikaka! I've been expecting you, Zero! You made a fool of me the last time, but I assure you it won't happen again! I am Coca Petri of the Iron Giant Warriors! We will see Ragnar through! Kikaka! <laughs> so you're the one who's in control of the security here? Kikaka! Surprised? It's all thanks to Lord Wild's virus program! It takes care of intruders without me even lifting a finger! So you're the type that can't do anything yourself. Yeah, first grunt. Not this insult. Unacceptable. I'll turn you into a lawn ornament. <laughs> this dude. Anyway, uh, according to the Mega Man official or the Mega Man Zero official complete works, uh, Coco Petri used to do impl implementation of hacker type cyber elves, but lost his job as the elves became more popular. In his anger, he loved he willingly joined Wild's side. He is stubborn and short-tempered, and hates it when others tease him about his- I am pretty sure I know how to read. Anyway, this dude's, uh, fight, he kinda jumps around, the floor rises and stuff. He shoots eggs at you. Um, also feathers. I don't know where they come from. And also he can stop time, you know, which freezes you in place, where he, where he will drop acid on top of you. Um, triple slashes, though, work pretty well. And, um, should be able to shave off his health pretty quickly. I just used my last buster shot there. <laughs> Pretty nice. Um, he can also turn you into stone if he shoots you with a ray thing. Which is pretty nice. But now he's dead, so now none of that can happen anymore. Rest in peace, Coca Petri. Let's see this mission score. I'm gonna bet you it's a C. That's a B. Um, you know what? I'm good at betting, guys. <laughs> I once won blackjack like five times in a row, it was pretty neat. Okay. Back at the resistance. There's something lonely about a ghost town. Even if we win this battle, so long as a gulf exists between humans and reploids, thing like, like, uh, things like that one are going to exist. We must do what we can for everyone's sake. Alright, so that was uh, Coco Petri, and now let's go to the... La the next iron jar, which will be Mino Magnus. So here, yeah. I've detected a large magnetic flash at point B1. The electromagnetic pulses are generating a lot of noise and it's spreading. There's a good chance the noise could interfere with the operation of air environmental control systems in Area Zero. Infiltrate and put a stop to that device. This mission. All right, ready for transfer. Okay, <laughs> so do your best, Zero. Here we are. From inside the building ahead, I'm reading a powerful magnetic field. Because of your field, the jump your jump might be affected. If you share polarity, polarity, you'll jump higher. But if not, you'll jump lower. Yeah. It's one of these gimmicks. Anyway, uh, here's the noise factory thing. And uh, we got a cool little gimmick here. With some gravity, um, polarity magnets. You know, magnets and stuff. You can jump higher. And some of these fields uh, make you jump really low. Practically, you can't jump at all. So yeah. Uh, one thing that I always thought about: if this place was generating so much noise, that would interfere with electronics. 
how are all of the other um, how are all of the other facilities that the INJ are using still work? I mean, maybe it makes sense why they wouldn't spread all the way to Area Zero, but maybe the ones right next to it. I don't know. I'm thinking it's too so much. Maybe it hasn't spread yet. Anyway, here we go. We got some. If you step into these, you get a new field here or a new polarity switch. Um, blue. If you're blue, it basically opposites attract. And if you're blue and there's pink orbs nearby, they'll come towards you and explode on you. And if you're on blue on a blue platform, then you'll jump higher. So yeah, uh, somebody learned about magnets while making this game. And every now and then you'll find these to switch in, and it, the effect will wear out after a amount of time. So I kind of like to let it wear out, even though jumping high is really neat and all. Um, yeah. For this part, we got a little tower climb. And for this part, I do like to use the uh, polarity thing, the pink. And uh, it mostly skips all this platform in here. These platforms here will start to become electrical and try to shock you to your death. But if you have the uh, super jump fire thing on, you can just skip all of that. Mostly all of it. 95% of it, all of it. You know. Here we got a nice little mini boss that also uses magnets. Because why not? It's a magnet factory. And what it does, it drops these little crabs, which kind of just crawl around. And also, raises the floor with magnets. Because that's how the floor works. What I kind of do sometimes is I just slash it with the uppercut. Um, it also could disperse of the little, little, little crabs. And does quite a bit of damage. The mini bosses in this game, some of them have way too much health. Or it's not even hard to kill them, but it just takes a long time. You know, it's Mega Man. 20 seconds is a really long time. Anyad. Here we go back outside and we have more of the uh, high jump and low jump um, magnet fields. And for this part, you can grab onto these wires that have fans on them for some reason. That sound all electric shocks. Um, I still don't understand what their purpose is, like, in a factory, but whatever. It is a little bit of a challenge, and it's really fun to jump all the way across the gap like that. So yeah, I think we're mostly across. We should be near the boss. If you uh, do take the lower route, or you fell off. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of heavy enemies and bottomless pits down there, but I think there's also some items for you. But anyway, here's Mino Magnus. <laughs> I won't let you stop Ragnarok. I am the great Mino Magnus. I will crush you, and then I'll go. I really don't have time to listen to all this. Let's go. <laughs> I like this character. He's a nice uh, comic relief from all this dark stuff going on in the Mega Man Zero world. Anyway, uh, back to the Mega Man Zero official complete work spot. So Mino Magnus once worked as a part of a mass driver and mass transportation unit, but he sees the opportunity to join Wiles' ranks at the promise of limitless energy. He can generate high amounts of power, but expends an equivalent amount of energy to do so. He is a slow talker, and being interrupted during conversations is one of his pet peeves. So yeah, that's from the uh, bio. So this dude's a tank type dude, and his attacks are like that, and you kind of have to be like this to fight. Uh, all of his attacks have really big hitboxes, and um, so do his shield. Because you can't hit the axe, you have to kind of hit, kinda hit below him or behind him. Uh, but yeah, triple slash, charge slash, and the elemental ice attacks do finish him off. Uh, but you kind of gotta hurry, you know? Because you don't want to die first. Alright, still a B, I guess. I'm sure it'll work its way down to a D by the end of the game. All right. You managed to stop the spreading noise. Good thing too, because if it would have kept going, even this trailer would have been in danger. 
Alright, so we got one last mission to do. And this is the Hanging Gardens of Pegasolta something something. We've located Wild's floating fortress. Clouds that become a little something about acid rain and floating and stop acid rain or something. I didn't really read it because I skipped it over too fast. But whatever. Let's do it! I'm sure all I have to do is uh, kill the boss, right? There are acid rain generators. Destroy them and save the ground below. All right, we'll do. All right, so in this level, um, there are these fountains you can find. You can actually freeze them with a nice weapon. And up here, there's some nice little e crystals. So throughout the level, also there are these little generator things that you can destroy pretty quickly, and they affect your mission score. So I recommend getting all of them. What to do? So on this normal mode variant of the level, um, there'll be this section up ahead where the wind is blowing, and these clouds will affect your vision, and uh, yeah, it makes some of the platform move a wee bit harder by making it so you can't stick to walls on their left side, really. Uh, you can't slide down, you can still jump off though. And it does make stuff a lot harder. So yeah, it's... The main difference is there's no wind and no clouds in the normal, easy, or the easy mode version of the level. Over here, there's another generator. And up ahead is uh, kind of frustrating with these spikes here and the fact that you can't hook onto walls and slide down. Yeah, another fountain here. You go freeze it with the down slash. And there's some centranium up here for crafting, which, you know, I don't do. There should be another generator in here, but I guess there isn't. My memory is not serving me correctly. Oh, maybe it was. Maybe my memory of remembering things isn't serving me correctly. Maybe I don't remember not remembering forgetting things. What am I even saying? What I was saying is that there's a mini boss here. Another dragon mini boss, and this one is of the I the electricity variants and is weak to ice attacks. So yeah, get that charged up ice spear attack ready, and you should be good to go. He's mostly like the other one, but again, he has his own special attack, which is I think it's like a electric grid that you have to dodge. I'm not sure. Maybe he'll show it in a few seconds. Be kind. Because that's what Let's Plays do. They show you everything. There we go. It'll shoot out three balls, which will up and down shoot electricity out. But other than that, same thing. Just a different elemental variant. Onyard. We got some more generators, I think, and just a little bit more of the level. More winds. More heavy wind. Not very fun. But hey, we're doing it for the humans, right? The resistance. Long live that resistance, man. Alright, let's keep going. More stuff up here, surprise. Health and uh, energy crystal. And next up, I think... Um, it's mostly the same thing as earlier, but the clouds are thicker, so they're not translucent. So, yeah, pretty difficult. Especially with this tank enemy here. Kinda gotta be careful when you're jumping that to that platform there. Continuing on, these things, again, frustrating. They kind of remind me of Airman's level for some reason. But... I believe there's one more generator somewhere down there. You might have seen that platform. Maybe it's just health, actually. <laughs> Alright, let's look real careful. There we go. There is a platform here. And one last generator up on top. But whatever, let's skip it. Music is quite nice though. You know, like in any Mega Man. Okay, seriously though, if you haven't if you haven't heard Mega Man music, then like <laughs> go listen to it right now. That's that's not even a request. That's not even a recommendation, that is an order. Anyway, here's our boss. Something something eclair. I will smite the worthless vermin down below. Lord Wilde came up with a plan as beautiful as myself. All ugly things will bow down before me. Pegasus, I will show you King something. I missed it. This dude kind of reminds me of. I don't know if you've seen the Meet the Cores videos. 
by uh, Harry UK 101, but uh, yeah, that's what I think of the voice. Oh, there we go, just die straight away. Yeah, that's the thing with stage hazards in a boss fight. Anyway, here's the bio from the Mega Man Zero official complete works. Yeah, Pegasolta was formerly a record charged with the maintenance of a large airborne weather control station, and he was redesigned for combat when Wild seized control of Neo Arcadia and transferred to a combat squad, an assignment he had long desired. Thanks to his ability to fly, he is very agile, and which he combines with lightning stamp lances on both of his arms when fighting. With a suave and confident personality, he likes beautiful things in high places. Pegasolta acquires wings are mobile, and can be used to fly. Alright, his attacks, he's got a few of them. Um, first off, whenever you try to hit him with a buster, he'll like float over it, and it's pretty annoying. Uh, this attack he just did there was kind of a lunge attack, he could grab you and pretty much throw you off the stage. Uh, his other attack, he'll go off the screen and either charge at you or send um, lightning in five directions around him. Uh, his other last, his other attack here is to send down uh, two spears of lightning things, and uh, they will make a line, connect a line between it, and shock what's ever in there. So, yeah, pretty. Uh, he's pretty fast, pretty annoying to deal with, especially when he um, likes to dodge your attacks. Like you're not supposed to do that. You're supposed to let me hit you, right? But no, not this dude. Anyway, here we go. Last hit. Should finish him off. Yeah. Why? How could this happen to me? You? Beating me? <laughs> That's impossible. My death. It's so beautiful. Got a little bit of an ego there, pal. Alright, we're still at a B, but that average is working its way down. Anyway, now we have uh, completed all of the Iron Jar missions, yeah? And, uh, prepare yourself for a nice long cutscene. Welcome back. Or welcome back. I can't believe that they were planning to attack using that flying fortress. Wild means business. I can't believe he's human. How can he be so cruel? That's a good question, Seal. All missions are complete. Area Zero situation is nominal. Nominal. It looks like I made it in time, then. It looks like you did. Now Area Zero is safe. I'll save your data. <laughs> no. Is everything okay? Take a break. You deserve one. I'm receiving word from the Resistance base. Opening channel. Zeal! Zeal! It's terrible! The base radar has detected a large energy signature. The signature is coming from space! Space? The energy signature is off the charts! It's heading... Area Zero! Get out! There! What is it? Respond! What's going on? There! Something's overriding the signal. The source is... Near Arcadia! <laughs> I knew it. Dr. Watt! I told you, Zero. You don't have a chance of stopping Ragnarok. Laying down a blanket of destruction from the comfort of my space cannon was what Ragnarok was built for the whole time. The eight warriors were nothing but a mere diversion until I can complete Ragnarok. Operator, can you transfer me to Ragnarok? I'm sorry, I can't pinpoint the, rain the coordinates. I can't send you anywhere without a destination. Your confusion throws me to an end, you pathetic insects crawling around, getting getting excited about your precious nature. I want to hear you scream as you meet your doom. The only one that is doomed is you. How dare you? That voice. Craft! I've destroyed Ragnarok's remote control system. I'm no longer your dog to yank around by the chain. No, I control Ragnarok. Your space cannon is no longer pointed at Area Zero. It's pointed at you, near Arcadia. Seduced by the words of a sweet woman. Unbelievable. Do you realize how many humans and reploids are under my control? Are you saying I should play the loyal reploid and follow you? Not doing, not thinking. Just waiting at your beck and call. And are you condoning the destruction of nature? Struggling just to survive? Aye. I will not let you take control. 
I fought too long and too hard for humanity to let you. And I will change. I will change. Uh, I'm good at real. What? So you're gonna attack New York City instead? There's still humans and reploids there. Come in, resistance base. You're on. Come. Communication restored. Seal, come in. Get everyone in the resistance over to New Arcadia. Get the humans and reploids out of there. Even if you have to force them out, try to save as many as you can. Too many lives. I've already seen enough suffering. Understood. I will relay your orders. Preparation for transfer to Ragnarok complete. Since the coordinates are based on Kraft's signal, this will be a forced transfer. Also, your position will be somewhat removed from Kraft's in the control room. Alright, just transfer me. Seal, don't give up hope. Zero! Alright, ready for the transfer. Alright, that's kind of a cliffhanger, guys, but yeah, see you in the next video. Peace, and sheep.